Hello and welcome to my tutorial on the current divider rule. The current divider is how current is distributed between different resistors connected in parallel. To understand this concept we will be looking at the water analogy. In this diagram we have a bucket of water which is connected to two empty buckets by pipes of the same size. As we can see when the water is released from the bucket it runs through the same size pipes and fills the buckets evenly. This is the same as having two identical resistors in parallel as the current is just like water and will be the same through both resistors. However, with different sized pipes, it is easy to see that more water will fill bucket 2 as the pipe is larger. Taking this concept and considering the pipes as resistors to the flow of the water and current, we make a connection that the larger the size of the pipes, the smaller the resistance, and vice versa. By taking away the buckets and changing the small pipe to a large resistor and the large pipe to a small resistor on the right, the figure can be adapted into a circuit with the current flowing from the positive terminal at the top to the negative terminal at the bottom. Now knowing that the higher the resistance, the less current will flow, we can apply the current divider formula, where the current through resistor 1 is equal to the product of the total of the current and the total resistance divided by the value of the resistance for resistor 1. After calculating the total resistance to be 9.09 .09 ohms and knowing that the total current to be 2 amps, the formula becomes I1 equals 2 amps multiplied by 9.09 .09 ohms divided by 100 ohms. This gives us 181.8 milliamps. By repeating this for I2, we can see that the current flowing through the second resistor is larger at 1.81 amps, as expected. To help better understand the current divider rule, we will be looking at three resistors in parallel. By looking at the circuit, the resistance values increased from left to right and by taking what we have learnt in the water analogy where the lower the resistance the higher the current we can estimate that I1 will be larger than I2 and I2 will be larger than I3. So by using the general equation and finding the resistance total to be 3.33 ohms I1 becomes 18 amps multiplied by 3.3 ohms over 6 ohms I2 becomes 18 amps multiplied by 3.3 ohms over 12 ohms and so on for I3 we find that I1 to be 10 amps, I2 to be 5 amps, and I3 to be 3 amps. This confirms our previous estimate of the smaller the resistance, the larger the current, and the larger the resistance, the smaller the current. This has been the current divider rule by Charlie Eaton.